If you want to learn how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.20, you've come to the right place. Let's not waste any more time and get straight to it. To get started installing shaders for Minecraft 1.20, the Trails and Tails update what you want to do. So open up your browser or use the link down below in the description. If you click the link down below, you'll be taken to the correct page immediately. But if you're over here, all you got to do is go over to shaderpacks.net right here. You can scroll down to the right side here. It will say how to install iris shaders. And that's the method we're going to be using today. So once you're over on this page, scroll down a little or click download iris shaders. Click this link that appears at the top here and we will be taken to iris shaders. Now all you got to do is click download a universal jar. This should work unless you don't have Java on your PC. Now, if you don't have Java on your PC, you want to go back to this article that I just showed you, and then you scroll down a little, it says Jarfix and Java, and then first run Jarfix 3.0.0, and then if that says you need to install Java, it probably won't help you do so, so then you need to use this second link. But after that, we should all be able to click this file that has this little Java icon. So go ahead and do so. That will open up this beautiful installer, select game version 1.20, obviously, and then just leave everything as is if you're not going to be using other mods and click install. And voila, there we go. It's installed within a second. You can close this right here. And all we've got to do now is pick your favorite shader pack. So once again, use the link down below to use the same shader I'm going to be using in this video, but you can also go over to shaderpacks.net just browse the 1.20 shader packs and download the one you like best. So I've put one down here as an example shader that is guaranteed to work with 1.20. It's called complementary shaders and we're going to be using it. As you can see, it works for 1.20. So what you want to do is, well, first of all, you could just check out the images right here and, you know, see for yourself if this is the shader that you want to download. But if so, click download complementary reimagined right here go down to the download sections and find download 1.20. Now this version is marked as 1.19.4 because CurseForge hasn't updated to 1.20 as of today. Obviously this will be added in the future, but this one does have, as you can see, Minecraft 1.20 support. So click download right there, wait a few seconds, and then after a few seconds, it will have downloaded complimentary reimagined. And what you want to do after downloading your favorite shader is drag this over to your desktop to make it easy to access later. Now, load up the Minecraft launcher. As you will see, it has created a brand new profile for us, Iris and Sodium for 1.20. All you got to do now is click play, read this little pop-up, and if you understand the risks, you tick this box and click play. So here we are, 1.20, as you can see, slash fabric modded. Go over to options now, video settings. As you can see, this looks slightly different. Now you can go over to shader packs. As you can see, no packs present. If you've never done this before, this is exactly what you should see. Now click open shader pack folder and all we got to do now is drag in the shaders leave them as a zip file don't unpack them just go back into minecraft and as you can see your shader has just appeared in minecraft click it click apply this will turn it yellow which means it's been enabled now you click done done and done again and now if you hop onto a 1.20 compatible server or into a single player world you'll be using beautiful Minecraft shaders. As you can see, a beautiful sunrise with complimentary reimagine in Minecraft 1.20. If this video taught you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.20, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more 1.20 videos, and of course, let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions. And then without any further ado, I will of course, as always, catch you in the next one. See ya.